Ja und somit herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Reaction Video hier auf dem Kanal. Heute schauen wir uns ein weiteres Video von Assassin's Creed Mirage an. Es ist zwar mittlerweile schon einen Monat alt, ist bei mir etwas untergegangen, aber trotzdem würde ich sagen, wagen wir mal einen Blick hinein mit dem Titel Basim der Meisterassassine. Let's go! Basim is our main protagonist in Assassin's Creed Mirage. He's a fascinating character, one that fills the mold of classic assassin, deadly and resourceful with a complex personality. For that reason, we felt that Mirage needed to be a strong narrative-driven experience. One that would honor Basim as a character, surprise our players and take them on a memorable adventure. A new playable hero. We first met Basim during the events of AC Valhalla. Also ganz kurz gesagt, ich habe Valhalla etwas angespielt, aber ich hatte da am Anfang ziemlich äh, ähm, Grafikfehler, da es gleich nach dem Release war. Und seit da habe ich das Spiel leider nicht mehr angetatscht. Ähm, und deshalb kenne ich Basim auch nicht aus Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Aber ich müsste das auf jeden Fall mal nachholen und Assassin's Creed Valhalla spielen, weil ich das ziemlich ein cooles Spiel finde. Aber da wäre es wahrscheinlich auch am besten, entweder alle Assassin's Creed zu spielen, von Anfang an bis Ende, oder in der äh, chronologischen Reihenfolge der Zeitalter. Entweder von 1 bis äh, Valhalla, oder eben die andere Variante. Mal schauen. Wird auf jeden Fall kommen, keine Angst. Aber wann kann ich noch nicht sagen. Having traveled from the Middle East to England, he acted as a mentor figure for Ivor. But Basim had motives of his own, and his past was shrouded in mystery. We knew early on that we wanted to explore a setting that was reminiscent of the first Assassin's Creed game. So naturally, we made the connection between the Golden Age of Baghdad and Basim. It was a great opportunity to show some of the events that came to define him as a person. Becoming the Assassin. Mirage is a completely fresh story. You can start the game without having played Valhalla or any of the other titles. But of okay. course, for our most dedicated fan, there will be a lot of. Ist das nicht bei jedem Assassin's Creed so? Es gibt ja, glaube ich, zwar die Ezio Trilogie, wenn ich da richtig bin, so die ersten drei Teile, aber ich bin mir da nicht sicher, ob die wirklich zusammenhängen. Weil die anderen Spiele kann man ja, glaube ich, wirklich äh, abhäng unabhängig voneinander spielen. Aber finde ich gut, dass das so hier ist. Of secrets, easter eggs and connections with past games and the overall lore of the series. Assassin's Creed Mirage is set in 861 AD, 12 years before the events of Valhalla. We meet Basim in his youth, making a living as a thief on the streets of Enbar, near Baghdad, alongside his best friend and partner in crime, Nehal. As far back as he can remember, Basim has been haunted by visions and nightmares that he's been unable to understand. He's come to question who he is and where he belongs. Much to Nehal's frustration, Basim believes his destiny lies among the hidden ones. Basim ends up at Alamut, the renowned assassin home base that at that time was still under construction. It's here that he learns the way of the assassins and becomes one of the hidden ones. Soon, he's tasked with tracking down the order in. Sieht schon ziemlich nice aus. Und hat auch ein bisschen was von uh, Origins. In dieser Wüstenlandschaft, den Palmen, die Tempel. Ich glaube, das wird ziemlich gut. Baghdad, kickstarting his life-changing journey. Creating the character of Basim in Mirage was an interesting challenge. Having met him as an older man in Valhalla, we had to imagine what he would have been like in his younger years. Everybody in the team is a long-time AC fan. That's why it was so important for us to bring back that Levantine assassin look to Basim's costumes. Crafting new visuals and stories around an existing character poses a unique challenge. It gives us room for nods to other entries in the series, pushes us to respect our legacy, while offering something fresh and exciting for our players. After becoming a hidden one, Basim inherits the apprentice outfit, a white robe with blue shades and a small beaked hood. We found opportunities to connect Mirage to the wider franchise, such as the red sash wrapped around Basim's arm in Valhalla, 
In Mirage, we learned that it was a symbol of the rebellion, a knight in moon by many other side characters. And Sorry. An den Kleidern hier sieht man schon, dass es wieder etwas mehr Richtung Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3 geht. Das ist schon mehr so, dass der, typ, der typische Assassin's Creed Look ist. Was jetzt nicht heißt, dass es in den anderen Teilen weniger gut war, aber es geht schon mehr in diese Richtung. And something Bastim chose to keep with him years later. There are several levels of conflicts in our story. From the one in the city arising from the Zen Rebellion to Basim's internal conflict as he's torn between his roots and his destiny, between his old friends like Nehal and his new comrades like Roshan and the Brotherhood. As Basim fights to free Baghdad from the Order's oppression, he begins to ask questions about himself, his past and the meaning of freedom. Deadly and resourceful. The story of Mirage follows Basim's evolution from apprentice to mentor a journey that is reflected in the game systems. There is no XP-based progression in Mirage, instead, progression is linear and story-driven. As you follow the story and complete missions, your rank increases within the Brotherhood, giving you new opportunities for missions, outfits and tools. We have new tools that can be upgraded and customized for Basim, giving him a deadly and effective assassin's tool set. When fully upgraded, These tools can allow for some interesting and unexpected gameplay strategies. We crafted a range of different outfits for Basim, so you can make the character feel personal to you. We're also bringing back a fan favorite feature, Outfit Die, which you can use to change the colors of certain outfits just like you could in AC2 or Brotherhood. Combat has been revamped as well, with new moves and mechanics built specifically for Basim. Much like Altair, Basim's primary combat tools are his sword and dagger. For the animation team, our goal was to create an agile master assassin who is as elegant as is deadly. An assassin focus allows you to slow down time and perform a deadly kill streak. That is just be careful. Nice. You want to pay attention to where you will end your last move to avoid unexpected fights. Basim feels different from Aver. The focus on one main weapon, his sword, allowed us to put all of our intention into developing an agile character who is intuitive to control. Of course, that also means that the combat would come with bigger challenges, higher stakes and a greater reliance on tools to escape tricky situations. From his story to his appearance to character progression, we designed Basim as a fresh twist on the classic assassin archetype. We hope you are as excited as we are to take the first steps on Basim's journey. Oh ja. Zwölfter Oktober, das hat sich ja mittlerweile geändert. Es kommt, glaube ich, eine Woche früher raus. Mal eine Abwe Abwechslung gegenüber anderen Spielen, die eher nach hinten verschoben werden. Ähm, ja, sah so spannend aus. Ich glaube, das wird ziemlich gut werden. Eigentlich, ja, die neuen Teile von Assassin's Creed enttäuschen, glaube ich, nie. Von daher bin ich ziemlich gespannt darauf. Und ich muss immer so wieder sagen, ich finde es ziemlich cool oder interessant, wie die Entwickler wirklich äh, so Hintergrundstories äh, sich ausdenken, die man vielleicht während dem Spielen gar nicht unbedingt mitbekommt. Oder vielleicht nur so kleine Stücke daraus und trotzdem eine ganze Story von einem Charakter entwickeln. Ziemlich interessant. Ja, das war's dann von diesem Video. Wir sehen uns beim anderen Video wieder und äh, haut rein. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.